you can see it's coming right towards me. I gotta get the hell off this mountain. Good morning from Miner's Park here in the Tusher Mountains of Utah. We're near, near kind of Beaver, if you know where that's at. But uh, this is on the 100K, 70K Tusher's Mountain Runs course. Today's Friday, it's the day before the race. I just got in um, yesterday afternoon, but we've had some of the team out here for a few days. We are parked over here. You can see some of the old mining equipment is over this way, but I am starting to do a course mark for tomorrow's race. I'm gonna be going up the biggest climb on the course right now, up from Miners, and then dipping down to the Alienite Aid Station, and then going to the highest point on the course, which is Delano Peak, this afternoon, and completing this leg of the journey. So, um, this is the second race, second year that we're putting this race on. Uh, we did not start this race, but I ran it the first year. We were fortunate enough to take it over last year. Uh, we had about 115 people show up last year, kind of last minute putting it together, um, but we've got over 300 this year. So it's really exciting to be back out here in these mountains, such an amazing mountain range. Um, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride on this one. Um, hopefully we'll see some mountain goats up on Delano, which would be really cool. And um, I actually kind of made this video last year. I filmed some of the course marking days, but I lost all that footage. So this is a redo of that. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> okay, I'm here at Miners Park Aid Station now. This is the start of the biggest climb on the course. And we're heading up this way. It's a beautiful scene out here. We're up on the Miners Park switchbacks, climbing on up. It's uh, usually always an overgrown section with grass, as you can see, pretty high up. A lot of deadfall tree on the side. All right, a little update. I've climbed about 2,500 feet up this climb. And we're heading towards the summit. Quite the grind, there's a lot of downed trees. Might have to come out here next year and actually get the chainsaw out and uh, do some uh, clearing. About four miles in to the day so far. All right, I've topped out on the switchbacks, traversing this road over here. And then we'll start the kind of cross country trail section go to the summit of this peak. I forget the name of this peak. Maybe it's Doyle or something. But it is uh, just basically a straight shot, straight up. It's uh, looking pretty dark up there. Last time I did this course marking session, I had to hide in the last stand of trees at Treeline and wait out a storm and it's not looking good today either. Look at that. Now we're talking getting up there oh yeah so this is Edna Peak I looked up the name It's up there where the tower is so that's uh, basically where I'm gonna be topping out and hopefully I can get up and over before this sky unleashes on me all right made it to uh, Edna Peak I heard some thunder it's raining on me now but here we are Came up from that direction. You can see a lot of the high peaks and course over there. Now I'm gonna get off this mountain before I get struck. All right, definitely getting chased out of here by a thunderstorm. You can see it's coming right towards me. I gotta get the hell off this mountain. Hey guys, a little catch up for me. It's a few hours later from when I last checked in. We had a huge storm move past. I ended up bunkering down in the Alunite aid station, which you might not be able to see it, but it's a little tan tent down there. It took like a two hour nap uh, on the cot with a sleeping bag. It was really funny. 
Um, so we're here, this is the Alunite Ridge Trailhead. There it is. And this is super exciting. We got snow on the course. Woo! So sick. Uh, so check it out. Right here, you go right through these guys. And boom. Looks like some significant snow here. Look at this snow field. So I might have to come here tomorrow morning and do some uh, some steps. This is uh, this is legit. Where's the trail? Holy crap! Oh my god! Yeah, there's the trail right there. And that is kind of treacherous. Oh, so looks like, yeah, maybe even tonight. I might come out here tonight and just sleep at Al Unite uh, Aid Station and uh, get the snow shovel out. <laughs> the sign says, people have been in Bullion Canyon for over 100 centuries. Think of the history as a 100 page book. The first 99 pages would tell the story of the Native American people who came here summer after summer to hunt and gather. The last page would take the history of the miners and forest rangers. And I guess the last word would be the Tusher's Mountain Runs. Yeah. All right, I just dropped over um, from Alunite Ridge. You can see there's uh, snow on the trail itself, even going down. Wow, even significant snow, pretty wild. Now we're talking, socked in out here. We're gonna go all the way down and then up, up towards Delano. Sweet old cabin over here. Uh, okay, so the rain's let up a little bit. It was coming down. I didn't film any of the river crossings, but they were really crazy, really high. We got a little bit of blue sky up there. Yeah, you can see it. And we're heading up. Uh, you're gonna tag Delano, go up and over. Hopefully by the time I get up there, this storm has really moved on through. I can see more blue skies that way. It'd be really nice. Hey guys, a little check-in. Um, we've got another storm rolling through. I'm supposed to be heading up Delano, but I'm gonna wait this one out. There's just too much lightning going on up there, so. Uh, it didn't look like a huge storm, but it's certainly coming down right now. So hopefully um, it passes through and get up and over this mountain before dark, cutting it close. It's interesting, we uh, are doing some required gear this year, which is something we haven't really done before. Um, so we're requiring a rain jacket, a space blanket, a whistle, and the GPS route, and uh, there was a guy online that was giving me shit for it. <laughs> Did you be having some fun out here with uh, no jacket? Yeah, that's right. Okay, up on the final approach to Delano. I timed it pretty well. Some blue skies over there. Still a bit gray, but overall awesome. So there's a herd of uh, mountain goats up here somewhere. I'm not sure where they are right now. It might be lower down due to the, the rain and storms, but um, pretty much almost everyone in the race will likely see the herd. At least everyone in the marathon, 70K and 100K. It's usually pretty typical, but sometimes I hang out in these cliffy areas. Yeah, this is it. This is the real deal here. Love it. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's absolutely freezing up here right now, but you cannot beat the views. I timed it perfect. Look at that. All right, we got quite a few snow fields on the courses. This is uh, the biggest one, I think, on the half marathon course. Um, there's quite a few on the others. 
Okay guys, that wraps up today's course marking for Tushers. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you guys out there tuning in. It's raining still, or again, but found my car, so that's good. Got out before dark, that's even better. And didn't get struck by lightning, that's the best. Anyways, we will, uh, I'll check back in tomorrow on race day. Um, super pumped for all you guys to be out here. It's gonna be a good time. Peace.